Hi, so because I want to automate my electrode making machine, what it means doing is writing some Arduino code, because I'm going to have to use an Arduino to control everything. Now the first thing I want to control, obviously, is those switches. So I need to turn them off and on, basically. To do that, what I'm going to do is use a bunch of relays. So this Arduino board, which is just awesome, actually, because you can buy a lot of these things. These things are called shields. And when you buy these, they do different jobs. This is a four relay shield. You can get a two relay shield. All of the pins match up and they slide rather neatly into the Arduino board to make you a little stack. Everything's nice and neat. Everything's held together and these things are really quite cheap. So it stops an awful lot of work. I mean, if you want to buy them individually and get them, pin them in there, knock yourself out. I like shields, especially when I'm using lots of relays because it's just so simple to do. Now, if you buy an Arduino relay shield from Arduino site, it'll come with the pinouts telling you which, which of these pins are the ones that you're going to be need to use. If you buy a slightly cheaper version, because you're a cheapskate like me, then you don't get that, and that can be a real challenge. Just working out which of these pins is actually going to be the pin you need to send the information to, to get that relay to turn off and on. And it's a little daunting, to be honest, but actually it's really quite simple. If you flip the shield over, you'll see the traces going to the pins. You don't need to know where those traces go on the actual board. You just need to know which pins the traces are going to. And when you look at the bottom of here, there aren't any traces at all on any of those pins apart from four of them. These four here. And they're pins four to seven. Those pins are the only pins with traces going to them. So logically... They must be the control pins. So identify which pins have got traces going to them. They'll be the control pins and write them down. And as I say, mine is four to seven. Then I can put the two shields to the, together. They are doing on the shield together. Incidentally, if I wanted to do another job, I could stick another shield on here, which is, I think, really cool. And that is going to be my control board. Because remember, we're just pressing switches, so all we really need is relays, and we need that information coming out of some of these. And we're not quite sure yet which ones. But we know which pins they are. So now all you do is grab yourself an Arduino sketch. And this one is actually from the Arduino hub. So it's copyright-free public domain, easy to use, and just copy that sketch and paste it into your sketchbook. Now, um, the sketch actually looks like this. So all you do is connect your Arduino to your computer, open up the sketch pad. I actually use the IDE online, although you can download the IDE. So you uh, upload it to your sketch pad and then upload it to the Arduino. And what will happen is that light will come on. So that light is telling me which of the relays is being used. Now quite often on these boards it will actually say which relay it is because they're in little blocks of four. Each one is its own LED and it'll say relay one and that LED will light up and you're done. So I put pin four in there and I get that LED to light up. If I change my sketch to pin five and upload that sketch. There we go, we get a different LED. You should have heard the click, that LED goes on, and that LED goes off, sorry, and that LED comes on. So we know just by changing those pin assignments, we can work out which LED that the pins are going to. Now, if you don't have a little bit of writing there telling you which one then you can just grab yourself a multimeter and go between the common and the normally open just stick them on those pins there set it to the resistance reading pop them on the common and normally open and you'll get a low resistance if you put them on the others you'll get an infinite resistance because that's the one that's working and we can read that resistance telling us which pin goes to which really, relay. Really, it's a piece of cake to actually work out. And you work it out just by looking at them and then turning it off and on using a freely available sketch. You don't even need to write. You copy and paste it and use it. It's free for all of that stuff. Now, what that sketch will do that I showed you is stick, taken straight from the hub and it will turn the relay on and the relay stays on. Obviously, what we want to do is have the relay turn on and turn off. And with a slight adaptation, this sketch... We'll do exactly that. And now we upload it just by uploading. And then every couple of seconds, 
that relay will turn off and on, which is exactly what we want it to do. So using an identifying relay on an unknown board really is easy. You just have a look and you'll see on the board enough information for you to be able to work it out. Free sketch, bingo, you're ready to rock and roll. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction to using relays on Arduinos and thank you very much for watching.